hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is simi kemza james so in today's video i'm going to show you how to cut this front um tie dress or front twist dress as you can see so let's head over to the video and do ensure so to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed this is my armhole line or my chest line my boss point my under boss and my affluence point and this is my neckline my shoulder slope and my armhole now, if you don't know how to draft a basic body, I'll be linking a video for you to go watch. Now, when I'm doing this, the next thing I'm going to be doing, I've already added my dart allowance, like I've paid for my dart, but then I'll be marking the dart out. So I'll mark my boss pan, half of my boss pan, like so, and mark it on the affluence as well. Then I would go ahead and draw out my dots so my dot is a total of two inches so i'll mark one inch on both sides of the line like so then i'll go ahead and draw it out now the next thing that i'm going to do is to draw my desired neckline so for my neckline i want to open it up extra by 1.5 so instead of the regular three inches standard i'm making it um that would be 4.5 and i have three inches here in length so i'll mark a total of um I wanted a v neckline and i would like to add lace on it a little bit for some extra design on the chest but if you don't mind you can go ahead and leave it so i'll make it a little bit deep so i'm going somewhere around eight inches so you can do lower if you do not mind having that so i would i would go ahead and make a nice um v-neck but i wanted it to curve out nicely so i'm using a curved side of my ruler I'll just draft it lower than lower than it just because i wanted it to be a nice curve so i'll go ahead and cut it out let me use the paper scissors so this is it now the next thing that i'm going to be doing is add a little bit of a dart on the neck so it sort of supports me better on my neckline so i'll be adding that here pivoting it towards the chest line then you do your reduction just the way you'd want now another thing is i want another dart on the armhole to sort of hold my armhole nicer so i'll go ahead and mark that like so then i want another dart on the under bust so i'll go ahead and mark another two inches on this under bust from the bust point i'll come down by two for that dart then i'll pivot it here like so now i'm going to be moving these three dots to my waist so i'll go ahead and open up my waist on one side i'll open up one side of my waist like so then i'll open up this one so that i can move these dots here So I'll be closing this up like so and I'll tape it down
so here we go this that is closed and it has been moved to this side you can see why the opening there so the next that i'm going to be moving is this that here so i would also be cutting out one side of it And I'll be closing that as well. And lastly, I'm going to be closing off these dots. Now here we go. So our body is ready. Now I'm going to trim off this side that you have here. I'll just sort of smooth it out. Cut that away. And this side as well. You can either fill it or you cut it off and reshape the neck, whichever works for you. I usually would prefer reshaping the neck like so. now you close this dot here you're going to have to pay back on this line at the edge here so i'll do that much later and then you close off this side so you're supposed to close here up to go ahead and open this up so here we go now there will be an a long extension here when i come to cut it so let's bring our fabric so we can cut for you to see now you remember this that we closed here so i'm going to mark that that allowance plus sewing allowance to join my outfit there so i'll mark my sewing allowance here then up like so then i'll draw half inch on this side as well for my sewing allowance in here so i'll just go ahead and draw that out now for this opening that we have here we want an extension so i'm going to go ahead and draw out a very long extension So I have my lace fabric, which I'm going to be using for the skirt side. I just went ahead and drew out the length that I want. I want the skirt to be a length of 35 inches. So that was what I have here. So I just drew that. So now I'm going to mark the distance from the waist to the hip, which I'm working with nine inches. So I'll also go ahead and draw that as well. 
So I'll mark the distance from my waist to my knee as well, which is 20 inches or I'll make 21. So there you go. So now on the waistline, I'm going to mark half of my waist measurement because I'm just folding it into four. It's a very irregular way of cutting skirts, but it does work. And I do not want any dart on these skirts, guys. So I'm going to be marking half of my, my waist measurements, right? So I'll be marking half of that. Like so then I'll add two inches sewing allowance then on my hip line let me extend this line as well on my hip line as well I'm marking half of my hip measurement and And my sewing allowance, which will take all the yardage. So I'll just go ahead and mark. Now that's the zip allowance because that's the zipper side. Now on my knee, I'll extend the knee as well. I'll mark half of my knee measurement, which I want to use the same thing as my waist measurement as well then i'll mark this side straight down like so now i'm going to use my curved ruler here so you can see that bomb area is defined so i'll go ahead and cut this out so for the sleeve i'm using the leftover fabric to cut the sleeve so i'm just going to mark my cap size if you don't know how to draft a sleeve just i have a video where i'm going to be linking for you to watch so i'm not going in depth on this So I went ahead to cut facing for my blouse and I cut the back side and the back side is pretty much straight. So this is my facing. So I'll just match right side together and turn it. But before then, I'm going to overlock all my raw edges. And then this is what the front looks like. Now I notched this side where this extension started. That's my dart point. I made a notch up to my sewing allowance like this as you can see so what i'm going to be doing is to fold one side of it like this and i'm going to sew 
close this side i'm going to sew it close up to the notched point like this then i'll turn it over i'll fold this one as well and so then i'll turn it over before i i start anything so guys subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified so whenever i have the part two up on the channel guys hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please share my video guys see you in my next video bye